he needs that typewriter. And a typewriter is so important. That's the only hope we have for a future. Oh, Chad, how are you doing today? It's a wonderful Saturday. We're already, we're already two-thirds of the way through November. Oh, boy. I had a, a couple of different shows planned. I got a couple of things in the works. Uh, but I'm sick as shit today. So <laughs> it's going to be... It's going to be interesting to see how this goes. We do have topics to talk about, though. Lots of interesting things. The Bankman, Boogie, and... A certain lawyer out there apparently shoved some liquor up his asshole. Am I hearing that right? Am I understanding that right? Not 100% certain. Also, I guess this happened late last night. <laughs> uh, Baked Alaska's sister did an interview? I don't know how true that is. I haven't even had a chance to really watch it. Uh, I've just seen people talking about it. I don't know if anything of interest was mentioned. Maybe they'll they'll talk about how they're going to smuggle in things to him in the county lockup. A little bit of housekeeping uh, before we move on. Yes, the puddings have been sent to Julian. I finally emailed him all the delicious little puddings that all of chat will be able to use. A minor issue, I drag my ass like a dog across the carpet when it needs to go out. Uh, so that's on me. I don't know how long it'll take to implement. It could take a couple of days. It could take a week, maybe two weeks, maybe half a year. Maybe Julian has got to run it by Moloch first. I don't know. <laughs> but I'll take the blame for it. But the puddings are officially in his hands. He has the puddings. And the puddings will eventually be implemented. And you too, like Scavosis there, if I'm saying that right, will be able to post the puddings to your heart's content. It should be, it should be available to everyone. Tiny dancing little puddings, just like on Streamy, available to the entire chat. Somebody else also had mentioned, where's the chat when the stream starts? So there are two things with that. My understanding is when a stream goes live, if you like pre-schedule it, the chat only shows up 15 minutes before the stream starts. I'm going to email Julian again and see maybe if we can extend that to 30 minutes. I think it's probably a cost thing on their end. Uh, but I have no, like, special sway, so he could just tell me to go fuck myself. I have no idea. Uh, but I'll try that. Or you could adjust the URL of the stream when it goes live by after Odyssey putting uh, dollar sign and then a backslash pop out backslash before the mornings with Medicare thing. And you can go into chat way early and do whatever you want. So the chat does exist. It is there. But it's like hidden. Because they don't want you screaming nigger as they're trying to sell Toyotas for three hours before the stream starts. I think that's what it is. So for the uh, people who were commenting on that, like, where's the chat? That That's what the situation is. Yes, if I just left the live stream up and only live streamed on one stream URL, it would permanently be up. But every time that I, you know... Uh, upload the stream as like an archive or whatever it is, you know, edit it so it, it pops up and it's viewable after the stream is over, disappears. And I've got to restart it. So that's that's the mystery of the disappearing chat and the mystery of where those fucking puddings are. They're there. They're coming. You're just going to have to fucking trust me on this. I got a little money in here, so let me run like a whore to go and collect that. If you throw nickels at me, let me chew it up here. Uh, funky motherfucker. I'm going to guess that's what the whole name is. Uh, damn it, Jim. I paid for bi-weekly. Stop streaming so damn much, uh, but also keep streaming Cancer Nigger. Lovely. Uh, Shadow Broker 21. Zannyberries has a graph-shaped gape in his asshole. Seeth Nigger. From the Archbishop. Reminder that Bill Gates and Terry A. Davis assassinated to try and hide the fact that he's got a herd of nigger cattle. Who shit? <laughs> From Mecca, rise up, my fellow moon crickets. Make sure to buy more hats, wink, wink. Unlimited LBS. Everyone get your whiskey bottles ready, oh boy. From Tigers McNick. The Ashkenazi overthrew the Anglo from Western powers through money manipulation and designed woke to hide the fact. And finally, from Barboki. I want to kill everyone. Satan is good. Satan is your friend. Only on this wholesome show <laughs> would you find this shit. Also from Polyfrog for 25 oodles, our little our little LBC coins that are I think are worthless or worthless now because the SEC is up uh, Odyssey's ass. Uh, Nick Ricardo recently had to respond to photos of himself 
and his wife posted online, for those who don't know, Nick posted a picture of his ass and his wife's ass with whiskey bottles up there. Well, if you look down at the uh, description, you'll see it says, feeling under the weather today, because I am, uh, but I shoved some whiskey up my ass, so we'll see how it goes. So I'm aware, Polly. I'm aware. Also, here's Nick reviewing a... <laughs> Here's Nick reviewing a dildo called the Baldo. You stick your balls in it and use your balls to fuck. That sounds entirely unpleasant. I don't know if, um... <laughs> what sexual satisfaction would you get from that? Oh, ten bucks for a return to champ. Uh, I don't have anything witty to say. That's fine. We're going to be talking about ball-operated dildos, I guess, this morning. We've got a few, th a few different things on our plate. Uh, right now. Oh, but uh, can I actually click? God damn Odyssey. <laughs> People fucking super chat. Send a link and then you can't click the fucking link. Oh, let me pull this up. Where are those 25 oodles? Where is the link? Okay, here we go. One link in a new window. The unofficial Baldo review. Okay, we'll, we'll take a look at the Baldo review. Let me get that queued up. Just get the get the show going. It's gonna be it's gonna be a sloppy, dirty fucking show. It's gonna be whorish today, chat. <laughs> it's gonna be whorish today. I I feel like death. So I didn't want to ruin something that would have been fun. You know, I had the schizo forum that I'm really excited to deep dive into, and then a uh, a certain rapper whose song I think you all love quite dearly. We we're gonna do a dive on that as well. But like when you're under the weather and you're not feeling very up to it, you try to go into that shit. It just kind of kills it. And I want to enjoy my take your med schizo shit uh, because I love schizo posting and I love forums dedicated to fucking insanity. And I also love, uh, I also love somebody that can actually make a nigger rap like our boy does that we play occasionally. So let me get, let me get some smokes ready. Do a little, do a little update on the bank man while I'm doing that. So apparently our little Jew <laughs> our little our little boy SBF uh you know went on the run the Bahamian government Bahamian Bahamian I don't know how you'd say it the Bahamas the Bahamas demanded that he uh that he transfer over funds to them probably because they knew he was hiding there like a little bitch so they've got some money on them now also it turns out that when he did his initial offering for investment into the company for the tune of 400 million dollars he decided to pocket 300 million of it isn't that wonderful? There's a list floating around right now of 44 different investors. We're talking like major corporations and financial institutions, as well as like um, venture capitalists and angel investors. And Tom Brady's dumbass is on there too. And all those people got fucked right up their ass. He pocketed $300 million worth of investment, telling them that it was going to be used to, uh, to expand the business for infrastructure costs, for the daily runnings of the business. <laughs> it's, it's pretty fucking amazing. Also, he took Chipmunk Girl and threw her ass right under the bus, trying to make it seem like that she's entirely responsible, the uh, Carolyn Ellison, head of Alameda, which is his other company, the one he was using the back door to funnel money out of. Now, their sex tape, that's supposed to drop. There's supposed to be a sex tape where they're all methed out of their mind. They're all high as fucking kites and just grinding on each other. Now, I don't know if you've ever really seen a picture of these people. I covered it on YouTube. And I have none of this prepared, so you're just going to have to listen to my words as I describe it to you. Hideous. Not attractive people at all. He's got, like, the Jufro going on. Uh, kind of a, a big belly, some titties. Uh, not, not a very attractive man. Carolyn Ellison looks like um, somebody used an AI, artificial intelligence art program and use the key phrases ugly chipmunk woman to create some kind of an amalgamation of a person. And then once they had it, they ran it through like Photoshop or Adobe and they fucked with the opacity and contrast to make it as pale as possible, put some glasses on it and then, and then adjusted the size. So it's like four feet tall. Now I want you to picture a giant six foot tall fat Jew and a four foot tall, pale as a ghost, chipmunk-looking woman having just degenerate sex with each other. 
coked out of their fucking heads on a pile of money that they've stolen because they're thieves and they're frauds and they're con artists and they're just banging away at one another. Will there be a money shot? Probably. <laughs> Is he going to like wink at the camera? Probably. We'll see how many nuts she can fit in her mouth. How much of a chipmunk is she really? You did not need this mental image chat? Yes, you did. Please don't throw up yet. Chat, we haven't even got to it yet. The tape isn't even released yet. You need to you need to prepare yourselves mentally for what's coming. These are all the ugliest people you could imagine having just disgusting sex with each other. Now, it could be bullshit. I don't know if this sex tape is actually going to materialize. <laughs> but it'd be awesome if it did. The blatant, just ass fuckery of the entire FTX debacle is mind blowing. You know, he was scheduled SBF, uh, Sam Bankman Freed, Fried, whatever. We'll just call him the Bankman. He was scheduled to actually go to a New York Times event, some kind of a book deal. Uh, you're talking about being entrepreneurs, shit like that. And who's there? Yellen's going to be there. Zelensky's going to be there. Uh, Zuckerberg's going to be there. But who's the first name that you see on the list on the New York Times actual fucking page about this event that was going to be on November 30th? It's him. It's the bank man. The bank man is going to be there. That's, he's the headliner. He's the fucking headliner. The heads of state, people that worked in finance, uh, all, all these other, it doesn't matter. It's the bank man is going to be the first person there. I think that uh, kind of got torpedoed. I think it I think it blew up a little bit. Exploded in their fucking faces a little bit, you know, with the giant billion dollar theft and scandal. But after the uh, relationship between FTX and Ukraine, it's a little bit it's a little bit iffy as to what's going on there. Yes, Chad, I see. I see some gifts are going through of some hand rubbing. <laughs> it's, uh, it's fucking appropriate. What a shit show. Of course, remember, nobody's going to go to jail. Not a single one of them. They'll they'll probably give them a medal. Like some freedom medal shit or something. Oh, what a wonderful job you've done. Let, let me pin this little medal onto your fucking chest. That's right, tendies. Fucking elves. But you can say Jews over here. This isn't, uh, this isn't, you, this isn't YouTube. You can actually say Jews. You don't have to say elves. But yes, nobody, nobody's going to go to jail. But at least we'll get a sex tape of ugly people fucking. So there's a consolation prize. <laughs> we all get something out of it. Oh, that's your Bankman update. That's the FTX update. Uh, turns out he's been stealing money for over a year. Fucked over the initial investors. Uh, ran to the Bahamas. The Bahamas tried to steal the money from him. Sex tape might be leaking, might not be leaking. Um, and he was going to do a giant speaking event with people that he apparently... Uh, might have been stealing. That would have been weird with him on stage with Zelensky. I wonder if Zelensky would have been like, where's my money, bank man? Where's, where's my money? We were supposed to be firing missiles and shit at the Russians, but all I got were little little sticker notes that said, IOU, sincerely, the bank man. Where's my fucking money? Apparently it's gone. <laughs> it went to a cocaine orgy. I'm sorry, Zelensky. That's why your country's not free. That's why... That's why the Russians own four Oblasts. It's because Bankman got a little horny. I wonder if they're going to write that in the history books. How did the Russians conquer some of those Oblasts? Well, there was a horny Jew. <laughs> There's a horny Jew that loved cocaine. Oh, that's something. I think that's a footnote in the history books. I think that's something they're not going to draw a lot of fucking, uh, a lot of attention to. A $5 from Barboki. Kill, kill, rape, rape, murder, murder, mutilate. It's a nice little cheer you've got going there. Oh, so, should we get into the racket stuff? I know everybody's fucking covered it. Everybody's talked about it. I know it was on the Keto Casino. I know Godwinson went over it. I think uh, Josh did. I'm just mad at the internet. I'm sure Cog has probably talked about it. But some pictures leaked. Some pictures leaked of Nick Ricada <laughs> with a whiskey bottle up his shitter. And apparently his wife had one up her poop or two. I don't know what the fuck's going on over at Locals. I I don't really... Now, it's my understanding Rumble doesn't have, like, a chat feature. And so it's like, 
it's added into it via locals. And like locals is like a pay for use chat service. Uh, if I'm getting it right. And apparently when you hang out on locals, they, they like to take the liquor bottle challenge of shoving bottles up their ass. I, I don't fucking know. I don't know. I don't know why that's going on. But apparently uh, those pictures, uh, well, they didn't leak, I guess, if you posted them publicly. They're not technically leaking, <laughs> but they're still out there. And the funniest thing to me is there's like a, a Bahami. Uh, like, was he in the Bahamas or he was on like a vacation or something? And it's him and his wife and they're like it's this picture from the back. <laughs> they're sitting there naked. And he's got Hank Hill ass. Like, I wish somebody would super chat Nick and be like, dude, can you say, <laughs> can you say there's something wrong with that boy? Can you say Bobby for me? Can you talk about propane and propane accessories? If you've ever seen King of the Hill, Nick Ricada has Hank Hill's ass. It's tiny. It's a tiny little ass. <laughs> and so I'm amazed he could get that whiskey bottle to stick. You think with that little that little dumper, as Nick Fuentes would call it, that it would be impossible <laughs> to clap those jigs together to hold that fucking thing there. But he did it. I don't know if he's like using super glue or something. Some kind, some kind of amazing shit, I guess. Uh, but on top of that, we also have a Baldo review. Uh, this one I'm not a hundred percent certain on, but okay. Oh, let me, let me, let's not auto start. Let's get the whole thing. I'm not sure how much money he got paid for this one. <laughs> but we'll take a look. All right, let's, let me get, uh, let me get this ready for us, chat. Let me get the uh, desktop audios on so I don't boomer it up. You'll actually be able to hear them. Uh, so it's my understanding before we go into this, because it, it looks like a bit of a complicated device that it allows you to use your testicles to fuck someone? That sounds awful. So let's uh, just... God, that's bad. Okay. Um, <laughs> let's take a look. Let's take a look. Okay. Okay, here we go, chat. All right, we're getting, we're getting everything ready. All right, here we go. The Baldo Review. The Baldo. It takes it out to you. So uh, the Baldo review is coming at some point. I've got, I've got at least uh, one more, one more full on go with it. Oh, you know what, chat? As we're reviewing this, would you like to review it with me, chat? Would you like to review it with me as we're as we're watching over this? Let me let me pull you up. There you go. There you are. <laughs> Perfect timing. There's a swastika. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's uh, let's watch the Baldo review. Uh, we started with no rings. Added one ring. The rings are better. The rings are better. So it's a demonstrable. We'll do this real quick. We won't we won't spend all this time on this. Oh, won't we? Because like I said, a full review is coming. But so here you go. <laughs> Perfect pause. First off, let's let's go over some facts. Some straight facts for the chat. That is a look of regret. That is a that is somebody prepping themselves to get ready to try to explain why this isn't the worst idea ever. Look at this thing. <laughs> it's probably made of like some Chinese knockoff chemical plastic that's gonna it's like half rubber, half plastic. This is the sort of shit that like California outlawed because it gives you nine forms of cancer. <laughs> and you have to attach it directly to your balls. Now before he even explains it, chat, can you guess how? how the, this goes onto your testicles, just taking a look at it as it is right now. Can you imagine, how do I put this on my nuts? How do I put it on my nuts and then inside a woman? Or, or a man, maybe. How do I put it inside a vagina or an asshole? Seems very complicated. This is the ball dome. And this number, this is Drexel's, this is unused. <laughs> this, is, this is Drexel, it's unused. It takes a sniff. <laughs> Let me just... Oh, imagine the smell. Yep, nope, that's unused. But this number, you gotta do and shove your balls in there. Look at this torture device. This looks like some shit that you would have had in, like, uh, the Middle Ages in England. Like, if I wanted to get you to confess to being a witch or a warlock, I would have put you on this. This would have been attached to you before I put you in the Iron Maiden. 
So you take this rubber plastic and you just kind of open her up. And then you put your testicles directly in there and scream. And this, uh, this 42 pound weight at the bottom of it, <laughs> this 42 pound weight at the bottom of it really helps you emulate what it's like to be a 90 year old. If you ever wanted your grandfather's balls, well, the Baldo is here with our intuitive and easy to use 42 pound weight added to your testicles. They'll drag on the floor within a week. And it's really terrifying that you might snap them shut. And it, it just, like, these things kind of get in the way, all right? So, no ring, not recommended. Once you put this fucker on first, you, this, this guy goes on, and it goes on way easier. You got to lubricate the inside of this thing, all right? And you got to lubricate your ball sack. Uh, but then you pop this thing open, drop the boys in, and then this thing goes right up to the top. All right. This thing goes on real fucking easy once that. I still am confused as to the use case scenario for this. I, I'm going to probably be forced to go watch. Does a company have like a an animation that walks me through this? <laughs> because like it just seems like cock and ball torture. This seems like cock and ball torture, the device. I'm not sure exactly how Baldo recommends or markets itself. Way way better once you got one ring on now i can't tell you about two rings but two rings is gonna be uh oh somebody in chat they do have one we'll see they have a video do might they? have to wait a couple of... can we watch oh, that on the, this I that's wonder. the weird thing about it you have to put it on while you are completely unaroused you have to put it on while you're completely unaroused i mean that should not be much of an issue if if a woman walked up to me with this thing and like, hey, I want to put this weighted Chinese plastic device on your testicles and have you fuck my asshole with it, that would probably kill my arousal. <laughs> that would probably, I would probably not be very aroused at that. If you try and put that thing on while you have an erection, it, it will not fucking work. Guys, you know about this. What's my affiliate link? I don't have one yet. I've got to <laughs> respond to their email. But anyway, so um, I'm thinking two rings will be great let me be clear though no rings was awesome one ring was awesome oh uh, chad am i uh, uh, fuck we'll watch this and then i'm gonna go to the baldo website i don't know if i can show it on stream but i i need to know exactly how this functions in my mind i'm picturing and how i've had this explained to me you put your nuts in it and then you literally shove that inside somebody i don't know how that gets you off I don't know what your dick's doing at the time. Maybe I'm misinterpreting it. Maybe it's like a, it's like one of the pink, one of the stink. Like you use your ball, you use your balls uh, to enter their ass while your dick is in their, is in their pussy. That just sounds even worse. Because then your balls are being stretched unreasonably with a 42 pound weight of Chinese plastic attached to them. I'll let you know about two rings. I did not hit the ballgasm yet. Still looking for that the one. The ball gas says, what about the dick? Oh, okay. It's a little graphic, but you'd read the same thing on the website, but it's true. It, uh, once you get going, that thing whew, takes off. And, um, it, uh. <laughs> you know, I, I, <laughs> listen, I've made, you know, I know a lot of YouTubers out there get a lot of shit for Raid Shadow Legend advertisements. Like Jeremy from The Quartering, I, I'm pretty sure for like two years straight, it was nothing but Raid Shadow Legends advertisements. But I think this might be taking it a step too far. Nick, how much money did they offer you for this advertisement? <laughs> how much are you getting paid for this one? Like I could, you could reasonably expect that somebody that said, hey, Here's my shitty ad I'm going to show for Raid Shadow Legends. Might have played the game at one point. But, but it's really hard to picture you strapping this device onto your nuts and then swinging it around wildly. <laughs> and that thing is weighted. Like, that's just asking for a bedroom accident. Like, you move the wrong way and now you've given your wife a black eye and it's going to look awkward with the neighbors. They're going to be asking, like, what happened to her? And you can't say they walked into a door. It makes it sound like domestic abuse. So you're going to have to be honest and be like, well, 
I took this 42 pound weight ball torture device and uh, strapped it to my testicles and got a little too excited during sex and whacked her right in the eye. <laughs> How's your day going, Tim? Nice lawn. It lays on top of your lady bits. Like this. That doesn't explain it. That's not and a good visualization. Like what, how does this work? You will enjoy it. How does it not slide off your balls as soon as you pull up? Trust me. <laughs> it ain't fucking going anywhere. But anyway, it's, uh, yeah, more experiment necessary. And eventually I'll do a full review. What she had to say about the Baldo was, at first she said, damn. And then uh, second, she said, I very much enjoyed it. Well, she's a fan of comedy. <laughs> she's probably on the phone with her friends like, you would not believe what I got him to do. <laughs> Take a look at these pictures. I took some pictures. Take a look at these pictures. All right, let's go to this fucking website. Baldo. I mean, they're getting their money's worth. He's actually getting me to go to this fucking website. Which is probably, it's probably some fucking, oh God, it's going to. Oh, it's going to fucking give me some kind of goddamn virus, isn't it? Baldo.com. I'm looking at the um the little, you can do like a little security check thing on it. This website's been around for 10 years. They've been selling ball crackers for 10 years, have they? The world's first ball dildo. Now, I, I can't, I probably can't show you anything sexually explicit. I just need to, oh my God. It really, it really does, it really does do what you think it does. I mean, I can show this. This is an animation. It's not sexual. I'm fairly certain I can show this. Just to give you an idea, it just, it's a very simple, straightforward, animated thing that shows you <laughs> how it works. Step one, shave your nuts. Step two, put the Chinese plastic around your very sensitive nuts. Step three, regret that you paid actual U.S. dollars for this. <laughs> oh man okay let's go down a little more uh here's some of the features that they they talk about uh tip no wider than most cocks okay a safe a skin safe ultra soft platinum silicone <laughs> that's platinum edition stretchy upper ring makes it easy to put on and take off without hurting your balls patented super strong inner core to prevent collapse when thrusting two spacer rings Cavity designed to fit all balls of all sizes. Oh my God! There's actual there's there's pictures of people wearing it. Oh, holy shit! Oh, okay. All right. So you know what? Okay, I understand how you're putting it on. What is the purpose of it? What does it do? FAQ. Let's go to the FAQ. Oh, how does it work? There's actually a how does it work. When fitted to a man's scrotum, it will allow him to use his balls to penetrate his partner. Holy shit, it really does. That's really what it's for. It's right on their FAQ. Uh, when fitted, you're using your balls to penetrate your partner and release a totally new type of sexual experience and pleasure for both. Oh, I bet. The baldo encapsulates the balls and presents them in a specifically designed cage that allows them to be inserted and thrusted into, and not just the vagina, but the anus as well. Effectively your, effectively, your balls become a second penis with their own unique feelings and stimulation. The cage is very soft on the outside, but internally is fitted with a strong inner core, which ensures the tip and side legs stay rigid enough to easily penetrate any orifice. What an abomination. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh. oh, there's... Oh, I thought, okay, when he said ballgasm, I thought that was like, you know, he's throwing that out there as like a term. That's marketing from their fucking website. What is a ballgasm? Further where, once inside, thrusting comes instinctively and bizarrely feels like normal sex. I'm going to press, I'm going to press X on that one. However, the sensation is very deep and unusual because your balls are inside someone and you're actually penetrating them. The sensation can trigger what... We at uh, Nad Gears Inc. have termed the ballgasm. Ballgasms are slow building, long lasting, earth shattering. As the body and mind don't actually know what the fuck is going on, we cannot promise that you will attain a ballgasm, as everyone's stimulation point and levels of arousal are different. 
However, we have had ballgasms reported in the major media, such as Cosmopolitan and Girly Juice. Girly Juice? For the partner, the Baldo is naturally nice, thick and filling. It's two inches in diameter, so it will be slightly bigger than most are used to. When the ball passes the inside wall, you feel a satisfying plop feeling, and the balls can clearly be felt. Oh my god. Oh my god, I know what this is. Holy shit, I know what this is. Oh, guys. No, 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 I know what this is. Oh, I need you to see this. I want to read this to you, chat. Oh, God, no, I know what this is. I know what this is when I heard that. Listen to this. Just this. Just this. When the balls pass the wall inside you, there's a satisfying plop feeling, and the balls can clearly be felt locking into the anus or vagina. Chat. This is... This is, this is like, this is simulated animal fucking. This is taking the knot. This is how animals fuck, chat. This is, you're knotting your partner. This is simulated animal fucking the device. That's what this is. Th was this company made by a furry? <laughs> was this made like a, a fucking furry? Oh, I think Nadgaris is like a deep op furry website. And the Baldo... The Baldo is like a wink, wink, hush, hush, uh, animal simulation fucking device. <laughs> it's tricking boomers. And it, it's, oh my God, furries are tricking boomers into fucking like animals and not knowing it. This is prepping uh, millions of housewives across the country to get ready to get fucked by dogs. <laughs> Common filth is literally putting a gun in his mouth as we speak. <laughs> he lost the war. White women will fuck dogs. They'll be trained to with a Baldo. A satisfying plop as it locks into place. Oh, oh, you've taken the knot. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I need it. We need to do a little digging here, chat. We need to find out who the fuck this company is. How much do you want to bet one of these guys is a furry? How much do you want to bet the designer is? Over a million white women satisfied. Oh, God, chat, this is turning out terribly. Oh, we're going to blues clues this. All right, let's see. Where where would I find out who you fucking people are? Of course, on the FAQ, there's not a who are you. Okay, they've got a Twitter, a Facebook. They have a YouTube channel. Let's see if we can. Is anybody wearing a fursuit on their YouTube channel? No, nobody's nobody's wearing a fursuit on their YouTube channel. Of course they're not. I'm on to you, Baldo. I know what you're doing. I'm going to go to their Twitter account. Let's see if it's following, like, furry artist. <laughs> Let's see what's going on over here. Oh. You know what? Okay, let's let's try this. Let's do a... Let's do a search. <laughs> Would there be a Wikipedia article? Would there... Oh, maybe under the press kit. Would they put it under the press kit? Maybe. Okay, girly juice. Uh, yeah, there's there's articles going back a couple of years here. It's won awards. It's award winning. They've even got different merchandise and stuff like that. Uh, the YouTube videos. But you, Chet, should I bring up the testimonials? There are three of them. Let me bring up the testimonials. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Pull out the testimonials. Uh, test for faggotries at foot. Who's that middle one? Who's in the middle there? What is that? Furball and pig. Ring the bell. It's fur faggotry. <laughs> I called it. <laughs> I knew it. I found it. They're training women to fuck animals. Furball and pig. I'm on to you, motherfuckers. So much fun. I bet it is. I bet it is. Furfag. <laughs> Papa B. 
I just want to tell you guys how revolutionary the Baldo is for treating my chronic <laughs> impotence and small member. I hope the Baldo is able to pull and stretch America's divorce rate back from the edge of climax. That's marketing. From Young Nugs, I'm 100% telling everyone I know about the Baldo. Tried it out last night, 11 out of 10. Thank you so much. My wife isn't really into toys, but she really enjoyed the Baldo. I'm sorry. This is it. It's over. It's over, chat. That one, that's it. That's my evidence. I got it. I, I gave you my hypothesis based on their press and right under testimonials, furball and pig. Shameful. <laughs> oh. So the, the actual company is Nad Gears. Let's take a look. Let's see. Let's see what comes up for Nad Gears. Oh, oh, okay. British startup Nad Gears Inc. had launched a sex toy for the testicles formed in 2002. Okay, but what? <laughs> what? Okay, okay. Entrepreneur Jerry Davies came up with the idea. All right, let's. Oh my God! Did they? They made it. What the fuck is this? They they crowdfunded this. The campaign is closed. Oh my chat! They fucking crowdfunded this. The ball though originally here it is. This was crowdfunded. The world's first ball dildo, uh, by Jerry Davis from Dover. $115,000. Oh, this was, yeah, this is, this is some fur fake shit. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the deeper we dive into it, I expect to find this man dressed up as a puma, sucking cock through a glory hole. <laughs> Let me take a look at Jerry Davis here. Okay, God. Okay, I don't need to see the selection options. Just let me see. Let me see Jerry. He describes himself as the Tony Stark of the adult toy world. I'm an innovator, designer, and a massive nerd. I love, let me show you the picture here. So you go, okay. I love pushing the boundaries of products to new heights. I've invented several first and have brought them to market. I love kayaking, ocean swimming, sun surf, and the good life. And is he pressing X to doubt on, he's pressing X on himself, chat. <laughs> Jerry Davis is pressing X on himself. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> he's selling, he's sell. oh, oh my God. Somebody, somebody, somebody check <laughs> on Common Felt. I don't think he's going to survive this. <laughs> I think this is going to push him over the edge if he hasn't already gone. I'm the Tony Stark of the adult toy world. Really? Jerry Davies. <clears throat> okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna dig until we find something where he says he he dresses up like a, a fucking tiger. <laughs> it's out there and we're finding it. Fuck everything else right now. Okay, let's see what it says. Alright, this talks about Jerry Davis, I describe myself innovator. Yep, yep. My business partner and co-developer is Elizabeth, a CAD designer from Venezuela. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. What's your backstory? Yeah, tell me, Jerry. How, what is your backstory? How do we get into this? I've been ahead of the game three times now, resulting in success and spectacular failures. I built the world's first eco superstore in Australia <laughs> called Neko. Uh, well, congratulations. In 2013, I created a range of electric uh, family cargo bikes for carrying adults and four kids that had turn signals, horns, brake lights, all of it fully electric. Uh, so I guess this guy has been doing this for years. And uh, what, but what exactly got you into this? Okay, talks about fixing lawnmowers. Dad paid him for it. Congratulations. We aren't in profit yet. Haven't locked the pro. Or, okay, yep. He's talking about launching the. Pro Just get to the fur faggotry. We know it's there. Talks about Indiegogo. Oh, this is, this is driving me nuts, chat. 
<laughs> I know it's here somewhere. <sighs> okay. It's going to make it difficult. It's going to make me work for it. I wasn't really expecting this, Nick. <laughs> when I went to look at the Baldo review. But apparently that's why I like... Okay, chat. Let me just... Uh, sorry. Sorry, chat. Let me just uh, let me, let me run through here for a second. Uh, $5 from Ice Wall Oakham. Jim Baldo review when... I'm sure your shotgun would go wonders uh, to it and anywhere uh, of one of those hideous monstrosities. We've got uh, 0.5 oodles from Guy Groceries 2284. You haven't lived till you had certified bona fide copyrighted once in a lifetime ballgasms trademarked. Jim, you got to get a Baldo trademarked. Now, now, now. From Robin Murdoch, ballgasms from low hanging low to thrusting deep. Got one from Mecca here for five. Guys, you know about this. No, Nick, I do not. Please talk about the Chastity Cage-esque device. For a 1488. Uh, Daddy, no, not the Nutbanger 3000 for 1488. And then five from Cricket Over the Moon 138. Hey, Jimbo, just want to tell you I bought a hat from Jufri. Since you might not be around to sell them to me much longer, thanks for the best internet content year after year, Weatherman. <laughs> well, you know... <sighs> I just, I feel like, chat, I feel like we're on to something. I think we're on to something. Okay? The way they describe using this device is pretty much animal fucking. It's pretty much taking the knot. And then you've got a fur, what is it, fur pig and ball sack? I don't know what the fucking testimonial is from, but that's a fur fag. And that's front and center on their testimonials. That's, that's dead center. They wanted you to see that. They want your eyes attracted to that. This is an insidious plot by fur fags to train women to fuck dogs. That's what I, that's what the Baldo is. It's so much worse than Raid Shadow Legends. <laughs> oh, I wonder if Baldo like has a pet adoption form linked on their website somewhere. Like, hey, that's weird. Why does this sex toy company want me to adopt dogs? <laughs> I, don't, I don't get it, but my wife suddenly wants to. Oh, no, this is this is nefarious, Jerry Davies. <laughs> I know it's somewhere out there on some fucking art site. There is a picture of you, and you're fully kitted out in your fursuit. And it's just, it's, it's baldo to the waldo degeneracy. Sponsored by Furfax. <laughs> you know, when we started this morning, I thought, oh, wow, you know, whiskey bottle up your butt. Uh, that's kind of funny. I did not expect to uncover the fur fake conspiracy to train white women to fuck dogs. Nick, <laughs> they're using you as a patsy. <laughs> Nick, Nick, Nick is being taken advantage of, and he doesn't understand. We need to warn him. We need to warn him before it's too fucking late. Oh, my God. Oh, I know you guys like the chat. I, I know. I know. Well, I'll have chat on and off screen. you got to pay attention. Maybe I throw a pudding up there occasionally, too. A little, little flashing lights to keep your attention. Oh, God, I forgot. We got almost an hour in, and I forgot to shill. Um, yeah, go buy a shirt and uh, their memberships. Again, uh, go buy a shirt and uh, memberships. There, we got that out of the way. Now, how do we find this, chat? How do we find where this fur fag account is because it's out there i know jerry's probably deleting everything as we speak <laughs> five dollars from uh, mr kill everything hey faggot baldo is quite amusing but you're still a gay nigger for making us wait five bucks for the acer thorn stream you more or you moon queer well you're going to be waiting a while so i suggest that you put your balls in a baldo <laughs> and you prepare yourself to learn how to fuck dogs because that's that's where we're at right now should we should we ask Nick? Should I e should I email Nick Ricada and ask him, give me the inside scoop on this fur fag? We're looking for information about Jerry Davies. Okay. I, I'm just I'm doing a basic Google search to see if I can find more information. Oh, you know what? Why not? Why not put the key term furry in there? Let's see what pops up. How about how about without his name, but the company? Okay, how about Baldo and Furry? Which 
Ask me if I meant ball furry, which is even fucking weirder, to be honest with you. Holy shit, there. How much are they charging for this fucking thing? Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> we got a second issue here. We got to go back to the website. We're going to go look at the products. I didn't even look at the price. Well, what in the fuck? Okay, chat. <laughs> I know I got a lot of shit. I'll put the chat. I better put the chat on the screen for this one. I know I got a lot of shit. You're like, oh my God, these hats. They're kind of expensive, Jim. Okay. Explain this shit to me. How the fuck? Oh, got to go down a little bit. How the fuck is this $79? And then the pink one is $29. It's been marked. It's been marked down. $80. $80 for this Chinese plastic shit? <laughs> Are you fucking joking me? 80 fucking dollars, chat. This is, uh... Oh, they got t-shirts? Oh, it's very tongue-in-cheek. That's understandable. There's a refund policy? Oh, what was the... <laughs> How do you refund this? If you've strapped it onto your balls, I'm sorry, we can't we can't take it back. What's a refund? What is the policy? How do I check my stat refunds? Here we go. Uh, for health and safety reasons, we do not accept returns or exchanges. Okay. I thought maybe there'd be something funny, and they'd be like, "Yeah, we just want to sniff them. Send it to us so we can sniff them." Oh 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 my God! Wait a minute. We oh. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, chat. We might have something here. <laughs> oh, you're gonna love this, chat. Oh, oh, I gotta, I gotta pull chat off screen for this. Let's have a chat. Let's have a chat with Baldo. Hello, do you need uh, to ask a question? Uh, we can help you. If the chat help desk is on, oh, we'll email you back. Okay. Uh, I do have a question. <laughs> can't even spell oh my god oh oh my god my anger i can't control it i can't spell when i'm angry come on to you furries i know what the conspiracy is all about i will not fuck dogs <laughs> my wife will not fuck dogs <laughs> You think you're so smart. But I, <laughs> I'm the smart one. <laughs> Mama said I'm a precious boy. <laughs> Yiff and hell. <laughs> okay, let's see. Oh, let's see if we get a reaction. Let's. Oh, oh, they want a bunch of information. Okay, well. <laughs> God, I wish... <laughs> What's a uh, chat? What's uh, hold on a second. Hold on. <laughs> I know who to send this to. What's what is um, what is Josh's email? Chat, what is Josh's email? What is um, what is Null's email? What does he use for Kiwi Farm? Somebody posted in chat. Somebody posted in chat. We're gonna get Josh an answer to a question he never asked. <laughs> yes, what is his email? Somebody, what is his email? <laughs> okay okay <laughs> it's gonna, i've got to adjust the message a little okay hold on we gotta go adjust the, we gotta go back a little bit hold on let me oh god let me go back oh i gotta re okay we're gonna rewrite you know what it's fine it's fine fuck it fuck it we're gonna we're gonna redo this we're gonna redo this all right all right all right here we go here we go um i'm on to you furries i know what your grand scheme is I will not fuck the dog. My wife will not fuck the dog. I'm too smart for that. Yiff and hell. Uh, P.S. I love anime. Okay. Um, Josh Moon. And somebody said it was just Josh at Kiwi Farms. Is that what it is? Let me let's just double check here. 
Okay, just to make sure that's right. I hope that's right. But here we go. <laughs> does he want special promotions and updates? Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Oh my god, it's put us into a chat. <laughs> Oh, it's automated. It's autom. If you leave this chat, you'll be notified by email. Awesome. And we're going to leave this chat immediately, so he is immediately notified by email. <laughs> Somebody said, oh, I, oh, I'm like, fuck, you gave me the wrong one? Did, did I copy? Somebody put it in chat. It was dot com. Oh, God, you gave me a dot com, didn't you? God damn it. You know what? That's fine. That's fine. We'll go back and do it again. There's going to be a Josh Moon at KiwiFarms.com. There's going to be a Josh Moon at KiwiFarms.net. Whatever. We'll do it a second time. That's fine. Okay. All right. All right. Let's, let's, let's go do this. Cut. Oh, oh I could do a follow-up. I could do a follow-up. Um. Okay. All right. I could do a follow-up. It's still there. It's still there. It's still there. Here we go. Uh, sorry. In my rage against you animal fucking anime haters. I don't know why the chat's doing that. I uh, put the wrong email in. Oopsie doodles. Something Josh would obviously say. Oopsie doodles. Um, my bad. It's... Oh, let me make sure I got it right. Okay. Dot net, right? Dot net. That's what we're going for. All right. It's uh, Josh at KeepItForms.net. Good day. <laughs> okay, there we go. Uh, yeah. <laughs> there we go. See, Jim Jim fixed it in the end. It's been fixed, Chad. It's been fixed. It's been fixed. There we go. <laughs> Everything has been fixed. Oopsie doodles. Okay, whoopsie. Something happened there. Sorry. Sorry about that. Whoopsie toodles. I, now I'm pretty sure Josh doesn't actually watch my Saturday stream, so nobody tell him. Because I just, the idea that he's going to get an email from a company that makes a ball dildo asking why he's screaming animal fucker at them and talking about anime, that's amusing to me. It's amusing to me. <laughs> I don't, I can, see, I can see him posting on his forums. He's like, what the fuck? Why is this company emailing me? I don't, Baldo, I don't know what the fuck that is. Uh, Five dollars from Polyfrog. Uh, the ballo gives it a new meaning to balls deep. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. That's right, chat. Never tell. It's our it's our secret. It's funnier if he's completely surprised by it. <sighs> Good people. <laughs> I'm just imagining people now emailing this company using the chat feature for all these different content creators and opting in for information on Baldo. Uh, DSP, he's in the middle of a gaming stream, snorting away. Guys, I, I don't know. I don't know. This Ball Dildo company keeps emailing me saying I'm screaming at them and I don't know what they're talking about. Wings of Redemption, after whipping across uh, his 14th controller at the wall. I, I don't know what the fuck's happening right now. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why I keep getting ball emails. I don't even know what this company is. Uh, Josh is streaming at noon today. Awesome. I wonder. I wonder if he streams and he gets an email response right at the stream. That would be fucking chef's kiss. Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, what a little adventure! I really didn't expect, honestly. Uh, that we would uncover the furry conspiracy. But I think Josh is the man to handle it. I think he's the man that's... Uh, <laughs> I think he's the guy that's going to get us through it. Oh, you know, as long as I got this pulled out, let me get this queued up and ready. Sorry, Chad. One second. Okay. So I don't know. Is there time codes now for the Baked Alaska sister interview? Well, first off, Chad, is it even worth looking at? Did she say anything uh, that would be, like, crazy? Was it even his sister? Or has it just been, has it, have they been bamboozled? 
Well, I see a time I see a, a literal timestamp that says teen years and duct taping is down system down system down syndrome sister. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh. Okay. Let me cue this up. Okay. All right. Well, I got that queued up. Uh, people saying it's not fake. Meth hand jobs. Meth hand jobs, and it's not fake. Uh, their name is Jala. Am I saying that right? Jala, and it's not fake. Crazy and worth watching. Okay, well, well, why don't we do a small update on where Baked Alaska is then before we look at the Jala content? Uh, so Baked Alaska had three pending things against him. One was for, like, desecration of a Hanukkah ornament or something, which he got a $500 fine for. So that, that was nothing. It was hand-waved away. Then there was a macing incident where he was sentenced to 30 days in jail. He tried to appeal, and the appeal was denied. So he's doing that 30 days in the county jail. Now, on top of it, the Jan 6 stuff, he's got, I think, 75 days in federal prison. It'll be a little slap on the wrist, uh, ass pat the, um, <laughs> the federal asset uh, resort that he'll be going to. But as it stands right now, once 2023 rolls around, Baked Alaska will be in jail of some form for a third of the year. For over 100 days, Baked Alaska is going to be in jail through 2023. That's where he's sitting right now. And then once he gets out of jail, I don't know if he's got like probations or specialty shit uh, attached to it, state sentences. I don't fucking know. All I know is 105 days in total for the J6 stuff and for the macing incident, and then like a couple thousand bucks in restitution between the three of them. Now, he brought that down. Baked brought that time amount down uh, based on how many people he sold out. I think like eight gripers are going to prison. So maybe it was like every griper got him a month off. You know, it kind of works out. Would have been, like, <laughs> been like 10 months in jail, but now it's like two months for the federal case, two and a half months really. So you know, it kind of worked out a little bit. Yes, uh, hate crime chat and chat, uh, Club Fed. That's that's where he's going to go. He's he's going to Club Fed. You are correct. Uh, jailed Alaska, jailed Alaska, indeed. No, he won't be going to a gulag, uh, Ivander. You know, when I'm talking to chat, I'll just actually put chat on screen. Let's just do that, and we'll have a little dancing pudding too. I think that works out better. Year of the raped Alaska, uh, Yora. There you go. Is he going to get graped? I don't know if he's going to get graped, chat. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not sure. I'm not sure what's going to happen to him. Uh, well, I think uh, Zanny Berries, uh, he's already been blacked. I think uh, because Milo Yiannopoulos just met with Kanye West. So you know that Nick is somewhere there come hunting. And I'm sure Baked probably flew out too and begged Yeezy to pound his ass. I can't confirm it. But that's that's where I think things are going. He got he got he got uh, a groped and then groiped one after Dumper Alaska exactly. <laughs> oh boy, what is that? That's a point five oodles. We got some oodles coming in. He's most likely going to get the uh, FPS Kyle treatment. Uh, what would Patrick Little do? Expel the Jew by twenty two for point zero one oodles and five for. A, uh, Mr. Kill Everything, hey, Vagan, I'm flying to Detroit, and there are at least 50 moon crickets on this plane. Wish me luck that I get to see a massive nigger fight at the airport so I can record it. Good luck to you, sir. Good luck to you. Okay. <laughs> Done talking to chat. Um, let me go get a drink. I don't know. Uh, uh, okay, so going into this, uh, we got a, a bunch of other stuff to cover, too. Uh, going into this, um, I don't know anything about who the fuck Jala is or what this is going to be. I just saw tied up a Down Syndrome girl. So I'm hoping there's some funny shit in this. Um, so I'm going to get a drink. We'll jump into it, see what it's uh, what it's made of. People are saying it's legit in chat. I, I, I don't know. The only thing I really know about Baked is just Baked. I don't know shit about his family. So I don't know why she would. I don't even know how this got set up. That she. What is with family members going on to fucking podcasts? You know, uh, 
I can't, I can't. Well, I was going to give an example, but it's a special month right now. So I can't. There, there are two streamers involved. And one of them, uh, he who should not be named. So I've got to avoid that. But it seems to be a bit of a trend right now. Uh, but let me uh, put on a little, a little break music. Put on a little. And we'll get into the Yoba sister interview and find out <laughs> apparently meth hand jobs and um, tying up Down syndrome people. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, let's go with a. We'll go with a classic. Go with a classic here. That was a uh, special dedication from one of our super chatters, Emily M four three six to to her boyfriend Dominic uh, for twenty five. Fuck my boyfriend for making me watch this with him for his birthday. Of course, it's about furry shit. Best way to come down from being high off our asses. Happy fucking birthday to Dominic. Fuck you, man, for making me do this. Uh, nigger nerds, rise up, bitch. P.S. Can you please dedicate the faggot song to him? It's appropriate. She totally wrote that, Dominic. She, she totally wrote that. Wow. <sighs> Sounds like she's going to buy you a baldo, dude. I don't, I don't know what you're going to do. Woo. A little harsh. A little harsh. All right. Well, we've got Baked Alaska. It's queued up. Uh, this is from Kino Casino last night. Was it last night? Yep. Uh, Andy Worsey scored an interview with, um, <laughs> what is the name? Jalala? Jalalup? Uh, I'm just going to call him Halal. Uh, so Andy got an interview with Halal, uh, Baked Alaska's sister. And I guess they've got the deep the deep cuts. Uh, so we'll watch some of it, see what comes up. Uh, if it gets boring or it's just shit, uh, we'll go to timestamps. There's some timestamps in there to get the uh, the best clips. We're going in blind chat. Going in blind. Let's uh, let's take a look. Oh, I'll I'll put you up on here so you can comment as well. Yeah, saying your baby Alaska's adopted sister, and you also sent us a photo, and uh, the photo was uh, at Thanksgiving dinner. We saw fucking baked there. Going yeah, that's the fam. That's mom, dad, that's Paul, Suzanne, that's my brother, Elisha, Tim, everybody, pretty much the whole family. Some friends were there. Uh, yeah, that was a few years ago, though. May you lower so, the show? I mean, May you lower the uh, yeah, our hold on, showdown? Hold on. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. I feel like I'm like, there's like a rain. Okay, so I guess this is just the start. Uh, do they actually come on the stream or is it just audio? All right, yeah, so the photo looks legit. There, you should watch us on the big screen TV. I have to, like, lower it down. Do you, am I, are you guys seeing me? I didn't make my video possible, so, I mean, if you need us. Oh, it's up to you. Oh, we do get I video. Mean, uh, okay, it's, all right, we got video. We got video chat. Yeah. So. All right, I, there we go. Okay, let's, you're, uh, you're let's, fine. Wait a minute. Is that Paul Town? Is that Paul Town? That's Paul Town. That's Paul Town in a hat. That is Paul T That is not Halal, baked Alaska sister. That is Paul Town in a fucking hat. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Is this is this actually the sis? This is Paul Town. <laughs> Come on, that's Paul Town. And okay, well, let's you're on screen. You're up. Okay with that? Okay. There we okay. go. Okay. You're fine. Are you okay with us showing that photo to the audience? Yeah, I mean, that's fine. I mean, let's expose it all at this point. No, no, the truth comes no, out. Dude, about... I'm going to have a lot of... Fa I'm going to be honest. I'm going to have a lot of family pissed off, but hey, oh, no. it's, it's life. That is life. Right. Right, welcome to my life. <laughs> okay, wait, wait. First, Ooh. I say we don't show the photo just in case we get a privacy complaint or something from someone. Oh, it might be. If it's um, going to be anybody, it's going to be mom and dad. So, I mean, that's so the only you... privacy complaint you're going to get it from. But uh, Okay, real real, real talk, chat. Is this actually the sister? Though, I mean, it, it, they've, they've verified it. So, Annie's saying he's got, like, a, a Thanksgiving photo. So, okay. All right. But I mean, we'll go with that. So, that's fine. Okay, I want to ask, okay, first of all, how do you know about our show? <laughs> Somebody said it's Michael Alberto. No, I was actually recommended, and I've wa I've kind of just picked up a lot of videos about people who ha who have talked shit about my brother, and I've kind of just loved your show. I think you guys speak some truth, and it's exposing his lies is one of my biggest um, accomplishments. I would love to do, and 
he's a bully. He's a straight out bully. I mean, him and I was little kids used to, oh my goodness. So I have a, a biological sister that's adopted and um, we used to tie her up. What? I have a biological sister that's adopted. It's a weird up, way to say. Um, freaking duct tape her hands and feet and like she would go tumbling down the stairs like my brother was mean. Like I'm gonna <laughs> So Banks uh yeah, when we were kids he used to uh, uh he used to uh, he used to tie up uh, he used to tie up little girls uh hands and feet and kick them down the stairs. <laughs> and then he'd sing and he sing songs about law enforcement, real weird shit. When I tell you guys this is just like a like it's all a money thing for him. It's a scheme. Um, he does this for the enjoyment. Just get to get the money out of it. It's it's sickening. It truly is. It pisses me off. And that's kind of why I stay away from the whole family. And Tim especially, Baked Alaska. Um, I used to be one of his main supporters when he had his, his music career. And then when he went political, it's just, he's a waste. He's a wash up. Straight up. He's a wash you, I supported him, but has, has, has his sister ever heard, has his sister ever heard Bake sing a song? I supported his musical Gosh, career. Do you think, because this is something that we've noticed, Baked Alaska seems to attach to whatever is the, you know, the popular thing of the, of the week. Uh, Buzzfeed, yes. and then Alt-Right, and then this, and then trying to like, like the, you know, all that stuff. So what you're saying is what we've noticed is 100% true, even from oh, yeah. Most behind definitely. the scenes. Most definitely. Was Baked ever like, like, do you believe that he actually had a music career or, or was that a farce? No, actually, I do really think he could have had a music career. Um... Okay. All right. I don't want to hear. Sorry, Chad. I don't want to hear about the music career. I'm going to go look at the timestamps. Let's find the funny stuff. Okay, let's. What do we want to look at? So we got kicking little girls, <laughs> tying up little girls, and kicking them down the stairs. We got that. We got that. We got that. Okay, let's let's see. All right, hold on. Let me, let me just make sure. Okay, sister joins. Uh, Macings are wrong. Sure, sure. Uh, why she and Bake don't see eye to eye? Let's find out why they don't see eye to eye. I He's guess. a freaking Nazi, pretty much. I'm. I have my own life, my own beliefs, my own lifestyle. I'm married to my wife, obviously. Like, I'm, I've got my own things. I, I guess I am a Christian, but do I? I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, what? Mm. I'm sorry. His sister is married to her wife. Is everybody in America first? Is everybody's sister in America first a lesbian? I'm sorry. Is this why they're all incels? Does Beardson have a sister that's a lesbian too? Is this, have we uncovered something? Is this like a, the deep cut? If your sister's a lesbian, you follow a little child Mexican who screams about uh, girls being icky. Right? Like, Chad, am I off on this? I think we found something. We're, we're, we're putting, we're pulling strands together. We're knitting a fabric together of a story. <laughs> it's America first, the first anti-lesbian movement. That's what it's really all about. I mean, I've got my own things. I don't, I don't, got, I don't gotta follow mom and daddy's little thumb and get their fucking money just to and please them. I don't do that. Like, I'm not. No, thank you. Like, that's not my life. But with Tim, it's it's always been he he can get whatever he wants. And it, it's I gotta jump through this hoop to get mom and dad's help. Or I, I and that's I don't know. It's I'm just sick of it. And another thing is the macing videos. The the derogatory like n word stuff on his li live chats. Like it was just. It's degrading. I, my, me personally, I, my wife is mixed American, like African American. Like it's, it's wrong. So baked Alaska's lesbian sister is married to a mixed race girl. Was it? Oh, oh it's like poetry. It rhymes. This is a little weird. This is a little weird. Cause that was the accusation against Nick Fuentes, sister, that she was in an interracial lesbian relationship. I think we've really stumbled on something here. Maybe the heart of the issue with America First is they don't like interracial lesbians. <laughs> this is a way of rebelling against that. Oh boy, oh boy. Let's let's. I'm going to scroll down a little bit more here. Let's let's see if we can get some other uh, audio cuts. What else do we have here? Okay, so uh, Macings are wrong. Oh, they don't see eye to eye. At first, Bake supported her. 
uh, I don't know much. See, I don't really listen to what he says politically, so I don't know what his thoughts on interracial lesbians are. I can guess. Uh, N-word donos at the gas station. Yes, the yes. The gas stations. Yes, the yes. All of it. It's yeah. That was that's that's criminal. That's you're a criminal. You're you're an, a fucking abusive piece of shit. Straight so up. You have a wife, so you're a lesbian, obviously. So. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why didn't why didn't PPP ring the bell there? Andy, you're interviewing a woman that just said, I'm married to a woman. And you're like, so, you're a lesbian. There should have been ding, 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 ding. There should have been a ding, 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 right there. Is his homophobia, is that what really got to you? You're like, listen. No, it, what's funny is when, like, before Tim became a political advocate or whatever the fuck he is... Before all this started up, he was actually cool. Like, let me let me tell the real truth about it. He was always like, yeah, cool. Like, I support you, you and your wife. And he was the one that actually showed me, showed me this video on YouTube. It was a documentary called For the Bible Tells Me So. That's what it's called. And it's a video about why gays are going to make it to heaven or whatever the fuck, whatever. Like, so he was like, I support you, sis. Like, Okay, chat, what we need to do is we need to find that video. We need to find that video she's talking about and spam the comments with Baked Alaska 100% supports this. He and his Catholic God want more interracial lesbians. We've got the inside track and people need to know that Baked Alaska 100% supports it. What was the name of that video again? Don't let or whatever the fuck, whatever. Like, so he was like, I support a documentary called For the Bible Tells Me So. For the Bible Tells Me So. That's what it's called. And it's a video about why gays are going to make it to heaven or whatever the fuck, whatever. Like, so he was like, I support you, sis. Like, don't let family ever bring you down. And then he flipped the script, just lied a lot. He was a he's drug a fake, addict. He's a fake ass bitch, right? Like, he yeah, supported up. gay he rights and yes. now for he's money, an addict. for money he's a, now, yeah. he says. Yeah. Yeah. He's Okay. I mean, this is, this is, uh, there's nothing like shocking or revelatory here. I mean, yeah, he's a grifter. We all know that. He worked for BuzzFeed. And then he jumped to the alt-right, and then he disavowed the alt-right, and then he jumped on Fuentes' thing. I mean, it's like, you know, this is, we all know this. I want to know, what's the timestamp for meth hand jobs? Somebody in chat said meth hand jobs, and I need to know that story. Is it under baked dabbles? Would it be baked dabbles, maybe? So That's yeah, you me, say okay. he, you said earlier he was an addict. Um, what do you mean by that? Because he claims to be totally sober. He never touches drugs. This sort of thing. Um, oh gosh. Okay, so back in our, I mean, this was years ago. I mean, there was there was times where my brother would ask me to find stuff for him. Let's just say that. Um, and it wasn't just some some marijuana. I mean, it was talk. He asked me a few times for meth if I could find him that, and I was like, absolutely <laughs> not, bro. Okay, okay. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Baked Alaska was asked his lesbian sister to go hook him. She was the meth connection for him. Hey, hey, sis, can you ask your interracial lover? <laughs> can you ask your gay interracial lover if she's got some meth? I heard the blacks uh, dabble in that. Could you ask your interracial black lover? <laughs> pulling a worse guy. I said it twice. Uh, wait, can you get me some meth, sis? I need some meth. Like, that's no. Like, that's crazy. I mean, so, like, that's just one of the instances. And if, I mean, why do you think he always wears sunglasses? Another, that's another thing. His sunglasses is a cover-up. It's, he's, he does shit. You think he's high as I've, fuck, I've, eh? I've most it. definitely. He's most definitely. I remember a clip of him on the RV yelling out that he loved cocaine. <laughs> yeah. Not uh, for the stuff that he was down. I wonder why the sister decided to come forward now. Do you think they had like a, a fight behind the scenes? <clears throat> out of all the times, I mean, the, you know, the past year would have been a lot of times to do this. Okay, so kicked little girls, <laughs> tied up little girls, kicked them down the stairs and smokes meth. All right. Where is the hand? Oh, holy shit. We got a time stamp called... Baked is closet gay and hand jobs. I think. And then there's one teen years and duct taping Down syndrome sister. Okay. All right. I think I found the good where stuff. Where you like duct taped a family member with him. Were there other incidences in childhood where you could tell he was kind of a bad apple or a bad egg? 
Um, there was a time where, I mean, I mean, just lots of, I mean, there's a lot of shit. There was a time where he was drunk off his ass. Uh, I mean, he called me, he was like, Hey, this was like two in the morning one night. I was like 16 years old. And he was like, pick me up behind this gas station. I don't mom, mom and dad and all I'm drunk. Like, and I'm just like, bro, it's 2 AM. Mom and dad are in bed. They're not going to know, like, just come in the house. Like, don't be so paranoid. Like, so it just, and the other stuff, like he had his girlfriend come in through my bedroom window one time so he could have sex, like just weird shit, just weird. Is there any like where he was like abusive or oh, like- All the time. I mean, he, he, it was a prank. I mean, we, I did it. I ain't gonna lie. I, I played along with it. We used to prank and harass my little sister so much. Um, but now looking back, it was just, it was abusive. Um, my little sister is fetal alcohol. She does have fetal alcohol syndrome. She's Down syndrome. And at the time, we thought it was funny, but it really. <laughs> Baked is literally Baked is literally playing kick the retard with his sister. Is what is what she's saying. Literally playing kick the retard. The one with the fetal alcohol syndrome and Down syndrome, and Baked is best kick, kick the retard. Wow isn't um she, we would duct tape her hands and feet so she wasn't able to balance or walk <laughs> and, um what and she fuck? would tumble down the stairs to the bathroom and <laughs> i mean it is kind of fucked up now that i'm thinking about it so we take uh we take my little retarded sister uh, and we tie her up real good uh you know she had the fetal alcohol brain problem and then baked would karate kick her right in the cunt right down the stairs and then we laugh because she couldn't walk because she's retarded and she's tied up. So she just piss herself. And Baked and I'd sit up there smoking crystal meth and just laughing. Laughing and laughing for hours is our dumb little retarded sister screaming at the top of her lungs, pisses herself, tied up at the bottom of the stairs. <laughs> You're telling me that Baked Alaska used to abuse his Down syndrome little sister. Are you familiar with the streams he did with a woman named Sammy? I um, don't know. Oh my okay. god, we have to show you that one day. Oh Sammy god. was like a disabled woman that Bake took advantage of in his adulthood um, yeah. for content. It was very disgusting, uh, his behavior during those streams. Um, wow, that's fucking crazy. <laughs> Fucking yeah, guys, dude. this is. Yeah, that's 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 so so. And we're really sure this is the sister. That this is this isn't some. I mean, that's you know. Oh wow, his sister's going on to telling him he used to abuse the retard the family. That's brutal. So, what what else can you expose? Like like if there was one thing you wanted the world to know about baked right now, you know. I mean, every just honestly, everything, everything is a lie about him. It, it truly is. I mean, he hates gay and homosexuals, but deep down, I'm gonna. He's he is. He's closet gay. He is closet gay, and he, oh. like that's the thing. There's three of us in our family, and it's Come on. there's three of us in this family, and how it's you, it's something that no know? one can bring up. No how one bring up that we're gay in this family. Homosexual. Like, it's... You caught him watching gay pornography? I have I've have some video proof of him getting his, like, hand jobs. Yep. Um, from a okay, all right. No, 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 no. <clears throat> okay, that's a lot to unpack. All right, we've... <laughs> that's, a, that's a lot to unpack. All right, if this is Baked Alaska's sister, and this is not... <clears throat> Paul Town doing the world's deepest op. Um, it's one thing to say, my brother is gay, and I know he's gay. It's even weirder to say, I have videos. No. Why would a sibling, why would a sibling have sex videos of their brother or sister? How does that happen? What do you mean you have videos of gay sex of your brother? Think about that. I think we got that should have been the title. It should have been the it should have been uh uh incestuous incestuous sex tape scandal rocks baked Alaska's house. Meth fueled sex tape scandal rocks baked Alaska's house. What do you mean you have gay sex videos of your brother? You have 
you have video proof of this? We have it? I do. I have some proof, yes. I mean, I, this is... Will you send it to us? <laughs> this is getting crazy. Yeah, guys, I will. I, I have to look through my phone. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's... The reason why... I have to look on my phone. It's on my phone. That's where I keep the sex videos of my brother having gay sex on my phone. So it's nice and reachable for him. He everyone. does all this is is it's a like I said, I wanna expose him and everything is a lie about him. He he only does this so he can get in my mom and dad's money. It, it that's all it's for. It's to get my mom and dad my dad is like my dad has built himself up. He's a businessman and he is a well deserved like the money he has gotten it's deserved, but it's I, I, need to, is, I, I need to pause this for a second. I need to find I need to find uncomfortable pictures of Baked Alaska. <laughs> oh, the Baked Alaska. Uh, what was it? Who, who was in bed with? Was it Milo? Milo in bed. Let's pull that up. We'll pull that on screen for a second. Oh, God. Yeah, there's him and Milo kissing and holding money. Yeah, we'll pull that one up. As we talk about this a little bit, chat. Okay, pull, yeah, pull that up. Let's, let's, let's throw that in call this tickle fights <laughs> oh what the fuck what in the fuck is going on there we go there you go chat there you are okay so bake's sister goes on to the kino casino and what have we learned so far so far jesus um picks on it picks on the retarded uh, kid in the family uh, likes to likes to do meth, and apparently likes to give out gay sex videos to their siblings. Now, I'm going to say this picture has more meaning behind it uh, than we probably previously thought. You know, uh, it's just a guess. It's just a guess, but I think I think there's some shenanigans going on. We got a couple of uh, money chats here. Let me read them real quick. From Wallums, I found the documentary for the Bible tells me so. Awesome. Got that in there. Uh, Polyfrog64, why does she have videos of her bro? What the fuck were they at a gay fuck party together? From uh, uh, Zanny Berries for $5. Uh, saying, Melissa Fuentes is a nigger-loving dyke. That's a quote. <laughs> I can take to the bank. Um, yeah, you know, I, I, I think if I were sitting down for this interview, I'm going to have to say, I probably would have focused on, why do you have a fucking sex tape of your brother? That would have been that would have been, I think, the bigger question that would have led into more interesting things. Uh, but there are a lot of these pictures of Baked uh, hanging out with Milo, half naked with Milo. Remember, <clears throat> he was a BuzzFeed reporter, and there were those stories of, uh, you know, him having parties at his house where everybody's half naked having tickle fights. So this isn't outside the realm of possibility. I'm just a little blown away by the fact that um, she's basically saying <laughs> that. She has gay sex tapes of her brother. It's a little weird. Let's see. Uh, will she name names? Does she name drop people? Let's find out. Trying to get as much out of my parents. And because he feels like he was left out when he was a younger boy. And he's just trying to get as much as he can now out of them. And he will play any part. And he will not act like he's gay. Just, But he is. He is. Uh, well, you know, Polly in chat said something. I, I suppose. Let me. Let me. Um so I can actually see this because it, it zoomed by. Uh, Jim, it's pretty clear. Baked is gay. A lot of gay men and meth parties and clubs. Meth makes them horny. I've seen it in documentaries. I think uh, it was in the Bug Chaser one. Uh, well, that is true. I mean, that that is that is that is true. And I'm pretty sure didn't VHS have a sound clip where people were making fun of him because Baked Alaska likes to lift his head or his legs above his head when he ejaculates? <laughs> this, <laughs> he got spammed on IP2 with that. And I'm pretty sure it's related to a story. So Baked Alaska assumes a position naked on the bed with his legs in the air before he can come. In fact, there was an art contest for this. Oh, all pieces are starting to fit together here. <laughs> pieces are starting to fit together here. What is going on? What a weird day today is. is it, I'm sorry. Like, Do you this... know anything about Milo Yiannopoulos? Because Tim was his... There you go. Yes, oh, yes. That's who I'm talking to. Yes, yes, yes. Do you have a video of Baked Alaska giving Milo a hand job? 
That is that is that the blonde guy? Yeah, I think that's the blonde guy. <laughs> no. Ah. Yeah. Yes. Uh, yes. Off? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. There's no fucking. What the fuck? First off, I, I okay. Let me let, let me. Uh, my brain's rattling around here. I need to compose myself. Let me think here. Uh, Milo will literally kill Baked Alaska if that's true. <laughs> he will fucking murder him if that is true. If there's a sex tape of Milo Yiannopoulos and Baked Alaska, and Baked Alaska is giving it out to people, Milo will kill him. <laughs> Milo will take a fucking hammer to him. Baked will be happy to be in jail if that is true. What a weird thing to give a family member. Hey, sis. Here's a video of me jacking Milo Yiannopoulos off. <laughs> Here's a video of me jacking Milo Yiannopoulos off. What the fuck? Yes, yes. So, yes. Because there's like pictures when Bake used to work for him as his personal assistant. Milo is an open homosexual of him like putting dildos in his mouth and stuff like this. Yeah. We're saying that he was engaged in, and you have video of, how did you obtain this video? Oh, finally. There we go. Um, finally. I have some, I have ways, um, but yes, um, it is. Is this real? Like, is this real? Somebody asked, somebody sent a $20 super chat uh, saying, did Tim ever touch you? Sexual he did way. not. He did not. He wouldn't know. He would have been put down, probably. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, most yeah. most Tim, definitely. Uh, I ain't going to lie. Okay, all right. Let me, let me see if there are a chat. Let's see if there are any other timestamps here. This sounds a little... This I, Okay, I, I could accept that this is his sister, but it sounds a little too good to be true. Like, kick the retard meth, okay. But I've got a gay sex tape of my brother jacking Milo Yiannopoulos off. That's that's kind of hard to swallow. That feels like a setup. That feels like that feels like people are getting fucked with. It's just it's it's a little too good to be true. Uh, from Willems, I wouldn't be surprised if he's gay, but fakes think everyone is gay, so I don't know. And from Doctor Tetanus, so Baked Alaska engages in the standard fuck parties, apparently. Apparently he does. Apparently he does. I don't know, I don't know what's going on today, chat. First we come across first we come across Baldo and the furry conspiracy. Now we've got baked Alaska meth out of his head, jacking Milo Yiannopoulos off like it's an Olympic sport. I'm not sure what the fuck is happening. Meth hand jobs. Oh no, chat, I'm sorry. If that were true, if that were true, Milo's going to kill him. <laughs> Milo will murder him. Yeah, because Milo just met with, Milo just met with Kanye West. Milo just met with Kanye West. How the fuck is Milo going to explain getting a methed out hand job from baked Alaska to uh, Kanye? <laughs> Could you imagine? Hey, Kanye. Oh, you're so censored, man. Um, I'm this super straight um, uh, political pundit from, you know, Britain, and I'm working in Washington for uh, Marjorie uh, Taylor Greene, and uh, I love pussy now. Uh, oh, by the way, that uh, video, uh, don't watch that video of me getting a hand job from um, a retard meth out of his head. Uh, <laughs> it's gonna, uh, I love my Christian God. I love my Christian God, Kanye. By the way, here's a video of me getting a hand job from Baked Alaska. Uh, Five dollars from Sandy Bears. I woke up and this weirdo was following me, uh, following all the AHOG accounts, not buying it. Talking about this person, halal. It'd be such a weird thing. I mean, if you confirm that's actually Baked's sister, and then what? The, Baked got her in on the trolling. It's it's AHOGing the AHOGs, maybe. I don't know. I've got a. It's just it, to me, my gut. It's too good to be true. It's just you know I could accept. I could accept a little bit of childhood trauma. I could accept, um, you know, drug use. I could see him doing that. But the, I've got gay sex videos of my brother. It's a little hard to, like, have they said anything? If I go look at, because the, uh, the sister said, oh, I'll give it to you after the stream, right? So let me go see. 
Oh, <laughs> did Andy post it on Twitter? Hey guys, Andy Worski here. Uh, here's a here's a video of Miley Yiannopoulos getting a really shitty hand job from Baked Alaska. Meth out of his head. Let me let me see if I can find it. No, 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 no. Uh, okay, maybe PPP's account. No, I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing anybody talk about the tape. I'm not seeing. I'm not seeing them uh, link the tape, allude to the tape. Oh, I'm just. I, I, I'm taking a small look here. <laughs> Somebody in chat, book of Bushido. Ironic hand jobs. It was these the uh, Kanye. You don't understand. This was an ironic gay hand job, so it doesn't count. I was ironically playing with his testicles. Okay. Um, it was it was total irony, bro. Uh, when I was sucking on the tip of his penis, you don't understand. It's just it's irony. It's pure irony. I've, I've done nothing wrong. I am as straight as an arrow. It's it's these this is ironic gay sex acts. They don't count. America first. That's right. I said no homo when he blasted me in the face with his gogurt. <laughs> Doesn't count. Listen, Kanye, Kanye. I was wearing a baldo when I penetrated his asshole. All right, so if anything, I'm a zoophile. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me being gay. I fuck dogs, Kanye. I fuck dogs. The gay stuff, that's ironic. Me banging the dogs with the baldo, different story. Oh man. <laughs> well, it's been it's been a wild uh it's been a wild little day. It's been a wild little day. Uh, what do we, oh, let me, let me pull up the other, there's so much shit going on. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it. I, I'm looking for, uh, I might have to pull up a second browser to do this, because it's going to do this stupid fucking shit to me. Uh, one second, chat, sorry. Pulling up some boogie stuff. He's threatening lawsuits against people. I just wanted to grab the thread where he's doing that. Am I going to, am I going to lose this now? Let's see. Okay, I found it. I found the tweet I was looking for. I got it. I knew it was in there somewhere. I just had to go digging a little bit. Oh, did I miss something? I missed something. Uh, 25 from Spheres of Madness. We have to wait until Bake stream and addresses it to confirm if it's really a sister. That's true. Is he streaming today? Do we know if Baked Alaska is streaming today? Because there's no way he's avoiding this one. <laughs> and then point zero one oodles from HTRTU. Dimensional merge is still happening. Uh, very true. Uh, so Boogie recently announced that he has uh, some kind of uh, blood cancer, some kind of form of blood cancer. Uh, but within 24 hours, he started he started like freaking out on people on Twitter for some reason <laughs> and saying he was going to sue them. And I just, uh, it's so fucking stupid and silly. I wanted to bring bring this up for a moment so let me see if i can get this uh there we go that's a tweet i'm looking for uh oh, oh no make fun of cancer itself all you want dark humor is hilarious i'm not going to say you can't make jokes about cancer but patrani or but uh but pret god jesus but pr uh pretending i'm faking it is fucked up we absolutely are not going to do that okay abs actually that wasn't the tweet i was looking for uh uh where is it where is it did he delete it? Did he delete the one where he threatened to sue people? No. No, I don't think he did. Hold on. Sorry, chat. Oh, God damn it. I thought I pulled up the right one. I pulled up the wrong one. Is it this one where he threatens to sue people? I know there's a screen cap of it. So even if he pulled it down, I'm going to pull the fucking screen cap up. Oh, somebody in chat helped me out here. I feel like an old man lost in the woods. Oh, okay, God, he tweets so fucking much. I'm gonna have to go digging through all this shit. Uh, is that it? No, no. Wow, well, he might have actually deleted it.
Oh, come on. What a... Okay, I, I gotta look at chat. Um, Anybody in chat got it? There's gotta be an archive. Of course not. Uh, dead air. Oh, I know, it's terrible. It's terrible as I dig for it. I'm sorry, chat. I should have put chat on screen while I looked. Oh, no, that's Tickle Fight. <laughs> that's Tickle Fight. Sorry. There you go, chat. Here's a dancing pudding for you, too. There. There you go. There you are. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I, I can't find it. I'm looking. I'm looking. I can't find it. I looked everywhere. I tried my best. I was going to go into the boogie thing. I can't find it. Fuck it. Whatever. <laughs> long story short. Uh, long story short. Uh, he was going to sue people. And I just thought that was gay. That that was my whole take on it. I just wanted to inform you all that that's very gay. I threatened to sue people within a 24-hour span. Thought it was a little weird. Thought it was a little gay. <laughs> all right. I think we got all the stuff, too, out of the Baked Alaska thing. I mean, I don't think, until he does something where he addresses it on stream, like if he if he says, that's my sister, or that's not my sister, or he says, aha, I got you, A-Hugs, that's actually, that's actually ball town deep cover. Um, There's not really much that could be done with that, is there? I mean, what, what, what <laughs> we're going to have to wait to see what he says, and that's probably going to take a while. Oh, what a morning. What a morning indeed. Got people putting liquor bottles up their butts and uh, Baldo conspiracy and baked picking on the retarded. <laughs> Hand jobs with Milo Yiannopoulos, meth, boogies threatening to sue people, the bankmen out there stealing hundreds of millions of dollars. Oh, shit, I should check. Did that sex tape drop yet? Oh, that's a good question. Did that FTX sex tape drop? We'll be able to end the show. <laughs> we'll be able to end the show with uh, with uh, a little bit of the Bankman and uh, Chipmunk Girl banging each other. Oh, I don't know. Oh, everybody's yeah, they're talking about it. Everybody's waiting for it, saying link the sex tape. <laughs> if I can find that chat. If I can find it. Did somebody just link it? No. Okay, when you link in chat and you say, here you go, are you saying, here you go because this is the sex tape, or here you go because this is Boogie? Oh, it's the Boogie thing. Okay. You got me all excited for a second there. I thought, oh, here we go. The sex tape is dropped. Okay, looking, looking. I'm, I'm still not seeing it. I don't think it's dropped yet. <laughs> no, it's definitely not dropped yet. Uh, but it is alleged to be dropping today. At some point today, there's going to be a sex tape. I can't tell you how good it's going to be because we all know it's going to be terrible. Uh, but I guess that'll be for next Saturday. We'll be able to critique uh, Bankman's uh, thrusting abilities. Maybe we'll use a Baldo. Maybe he's financially involved in it. Maybe he's one of the fur fags behind the company and we never knew. Maybe maybe all these people, maybe it's like a big thing. And we, we never knew that he was the, uh, he's actually the Baldo creator. Terrible, shameful. I should have known. I should have known, chat. I didn't know. All right. Well, as I told you earlier, uh, oh, here we go. Somebody did a recreation of the sex tape uh, from Polly Frog. How explicit is it, Polly? Is it going to be dolphin porn, Polly? Is that what you're trying to set me up with? <laughs> Somebody used the uh, AI to do this one, did they? I don't know. Now, this one I probably can't show. I think, I mean, Odyssey probably does have explicit, explicit things about uh actual sex sex i mean we could show like the goofy animation from baldo because there's no sex involved in that uh this is just i'll describe it to chat because i'm sure you're all very curious what the recreation uh by ai looks like 
Uh, so it's about 10 different Sam, uh, it's, it's 10 different Bankmans, all naked. Some of them have tits. Uh, some of them have penises. And they're all fucking each other in the server room at FTX. Uh, this is quite remarkable uh, and spooky how far AI has come to be able to, to make this collage of this many Bankmans banging each other. But I, I'm going to guess you're right. That's probably what it's going to be like. <laughs> it's probably what it's going to end up looking like. You just have to use your, your imagination. Okay? You'll have to use your imagination for that. Yeah, they're fucking right on the servers. Don't even care. Not, they're, yeah, not a care in the world. They say, just slam, fuck each other like there's no tomorrow. <laughs> Jesus. All right. Well, chat, as I had said earlier, I am under the weather today. So it's a little bit on the shorter side. Usually I'd go for about two and a half hours. It's kind of what this average is out to. Uh, today's more, but it's, it's a two-hour day. It's a two-hour day. If we had that sex tape, it would be a two and a half hour day. Or if Baked Alaska suddenly went, it, well, you know, let me check. If he's streaming and he's, a, he's addressing this, uh, nope, it looks like the only thing going on right now over on Cozy is another, another Beardson suicide stream. Is he going to finally yeah, do it today? Maybe. Maybe he's finally going to put that fucking gun in his mouth. He's been threatening to do it for weeks now. But no, no Baked Alaska. No Baked Alaska. I'm sorry, chat. Now, what horrific song will we play out on this time? <laughs> what song will push the limits too far this time, Jim? For a finishing song. Chat, any recommendations? Any recommendations, chat? For what uh, glorious song we end on? <laughs> Is there actually a band called Blink 1488? Wait, is there actually, did Rusty Cage actually make that song? If he did, we'll, we'll go out on that, because that's perfect for what we're talking about. Oh, but would that even be on YouTube? It might be. Oh my god, he really did do a song called White Girls Fuck Dogs. Okay. White Girls.